So Pedro and Brazil are back in Civ 6, and so far they seem like they're really geared towards using the new Great Person system. So the way great people are generated is going to be entirely new inside of Civilization 6, and Pedro 2 is going to get some pretty cool bonuses, I think. Let's start off with his leader ability. So he's going to be able to get back some of the points from recruiting great people. So I'm assuming, I mean, there's really not that much to go off of from that statement, but I'm assuming that we're going to be able to get, I don't know, maybe 10 to 25%, kind of like a, a rollover, kind of like, you know, let's, let's, for instance, think about the aqueduct and how that works inside of cities where some food kind of goes over into the next population. Um, I'm assuming something like that, which, I mean, needless to say, that would mean that Brazil will be really good at generating tons and tons of, of great people. And uh, that, that's another interesting thing because, you know, Brazil is going to be pretty wide because of this bonus. They can, they can, they're going to have a wide opportunity, a wide range of opportunities uh, to go after multiple victories because they can do this for any great person. That is great admirals, uh, great generals, uh, obviously all the artists and the musicians and the scientists and the engineers. So they're going to have an interesting... I think an interesting time with this leader bonus. Let's start. Let's, let's talk about their special ability. Rainforests give special adjacency bonuses. I think one thing that this is going to kind of confirm, and this is kind of off topic here, but uh, Civ start biases from Civ Five. So you know, Civ, certain Civ starting off uh, near certain locations will be back. It's just kind of crucial here for someone like Brazil to eventually have some sort of rainforests uh, around them. I mean, I'm probably not confirmed every single time, but. Um, I bet, you there, I bet you there's a good percentage of time that Pedro will start off near some sort of rainforest. Uh, this will be interesting because you're, it's going to force you to, to, to choose whether you want to chop those forests down, get the production out of them, uh, or you know, chop them down to get the if, – if instant production is back, uh, or chop it down and, and then build a farm instead. If, you know, it's just you're, you're going to be forced to, into some interesting decisions. One thing, though, that this terrain is going to do is going to keep Brazil a little bit safer. We know rough terrain is it tends to be a little bit harder to attack in, and if the AI or if you as Brazil, the human player controlling the Civ, chooses to not take down those rainforests, uh, that will keep you slightly safer. Not a big thing that, you know, that's not a huge thing, but I definitely wanted to mention that because it's kind of interesting to, to look into. Uh, their unique units, it's going to be unlocked through the Civic Tree, which is kind of interesting that they, they talked about it in just this video. Uh, when, when, when discussing previous unique units in the past, they don't always say whether it's going to be in the tech tree or the civic tree. Uh, I'm curious to to see how that's going to play a bigger role, but uh, it's going to be a, uh, a ranged boat with it, better defense and better ranged attack. So maybe a Brazilian Navy will be good at uh, a few things, you know, maybe defending against some of the more hardcore naval civs like Japan and England. Uh, finally, their unique infrastructure. This is going to replace the entertainment complex and it lets cities build a special project uh, that turns production into amenities. So extra amenities for Brazil should keep them pretty happy. Uh, Brazil will also get, this is the big one, Brazil also gets extra great people points. So yeah, I mean, Brazil is going to be pretty heavily focused on this new system. I'm excited to see how, how, they, how they work as an AI as well. Um, this, that could be pretty scary. If Brazil is in, is in your game, a game of only seven other AIs, that might be really annoying if you're trying to rush after, who knows, I mean, it could be a great profit, it could be a great merchant, there's there's many great people. Uh, if Brazil's in your game, you're going to be like, ah, oh, crap, I mean, they're, <laughs> they're going to be stealing all the great people away, um, and, and that will be tough. I mean, I'm not saying all of them, but it's going to be constantly a battle if, if you're up against Brazil after a certain great person. So anyways, uh, I, I'm really excited to see uh, how Brazil works in Civilization VI. So let me know in the comment section down below how you plan to use Brazil in Civ 6. Like I said, they have kind of a wide range of options uh, in terms of pursuing victories. So I'm interested to see how the player base is going to use this, this new Civ. But uh, if you want more Civ 6 leader breakdowns, you can see right over here. Click on any one of those, and uh, I'll be back with more Civ 6 leader breakdowns as soon as they get announced. So I uh, hope you guys are enjoying this stuff. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.